Wednesday night in Columbia, the South Carolina Gamecocks rallied for three runs in the seventh inning to knock off visiting Virginia Tech. Brad Muller alongside SEC legend Dr. Megan Matthews Bunning. We had a pitcher's duel early. Jessica Elliott had it going on early. Virginia Tech's freshman pitchers looked very good. South Carolina had some chances, but the pitching early was the story of this one. Yeah, and you take the words right out of my mouth, Brad. Jessica Elliott was dominant in the first three innings, ran into a little bit of trouble in the fourth, but really didn't pitch poorly. And you're right, the freshman pitchers for Virginia Tech showed some promise. Well, Virginia Tech would get on the scoreboard first. It started in the fourth inning. Scoreless game here in the indecision by Bozel. The fielder's choice results in the first run. The Gamecocks would get it back as this single off the bat of Kristen White off the pitcher would tie things up. But then in the fifth inning, Virginia Tech would strike again. Gamecocks tried to turn two here, couldn't get it done. The runner would score from third base, and it was two to one. Virginia Tech. Then in the sixth inning, the catcher Lauren Duff for the Hokies goes yard, her third home run of the season, and that put the Hokies in front seemingly comfortably 3-1, to one. but in the seventh inning, the Gamecocks would rally. This sack fly off the bat of Taylor Williams would make it 3-2. to two. And Gamecocks would take advantage of a couple of walks. The bases were loaded for Tierra Duffy. This one off the third baseman's glove into left field. Two runs would score, and the Gamecocks rally to win it by a score of 4-3. to three. For Dr. Megan Matthews Bunning, I'm Brad Muller.